Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and it's pretty nice, but it's too fuzzy to trace, and it is, somebody drew it, and this is the type of file that would be so easy just to redraw and pick your own fonts. If you can, I, I kind of looked real quickly. It's, I've had a long day. It's a long, um, you could look through a lot of fonts and find it, but all I did was take an ellipse and about the size of my, you know, and, and you don't have to make it exactly the right size because you're going to not really worry about it uh, right now. I'm going to put P, put it in the center of the page. I can get rid of our yellow box. And you can just see by the yellow boxes, this was a pretty bad clip art. And you can see when you move it around, it's a pretty bad. So we need to take, the first thing I would do would get, uh, your common shapes and get your heart tool to draw a heart. And there's many ways to draw a heart. That's a pretty nice heart. It doesn't look like they held down the control button or made it, whoever drew it probably didn't draw it in Corel. But then you're gonna hit P and put it in the center of the page and kind of look at it. It needs to go down a little bit so we'll, we can nudge it down. And then you could make it a little bit darker of a line. I'm still working with somebody else's file. I normally don't work with CMYK. That looks pretty good. And then I would bring in, and I, I got pretty close to the word family. I'm going to reduce it in size a little bit and put it kind of in there. And all they did was break away, you know, the heart shape. But what I would also do is I'd put family in the center of the page by hitting P and then maybe, uh, maybe bring it down a little bit, but maybe not, not really a big deal. So then what I do to break away the heart, I would go up there and go to object and convert it to a curve. I would go to object and convert the outline to an object because then we got a left click and right click and you have an object. Doesn't really matter what it worked regardless, but basically they just have a line uh, and they're not even. So they just cut uh, this one short and that one, you know, just to kind of go around the word. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take a two point line and we're going to go about that far and about that far and about that far away and about that far away. I didn't do a very good job on that one. And then just use, let's see how this is a six inch circle. So we're going to set our nudge factor for about seven. And we're going to use a smart fill tool to fill in that part of the heart and move it out of the way. Put that part of the cross or the heart. And now we can just delete the, the four lines and the, and the uh, everything together. And at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move family over to the heart. And I'm gonna get, I've already written some things out so it wouldn't, and there again, you would pick your font. Now, the, the probably the most difficult thing in this, and it's not difficult whatsoever, is you take this ellipse and go up to object and convert it to a curve and then go to windows and dockers and properties and we'll find out how long this curve is. The length of this curve is 19, 11, 11. Our drawing, our wording is 14. So we're going to make this 19, 11, one. I think it was actually one something. And we'll make it that long. Now just go see. So now our tech, because our text is a wraparound, it actually starts right there, a family, a happy family. And it's got periods between now. I didn't take the time to put the periods in the center, but that's very easily done. If I have time on the video, or maybe I'll make a second video on how to get the, the things up there. So what we're going to do in case I do this, I'm going to make a duplicate of this. And then I'm going to go and go text, text the path and put it on a curve. And you can see that we're not, it's kind of hard to tell with that font. Nope, we're overlapping, so let's grab it again. In this case, I might even, once I got it, I might even have to back up and re-get it. I'm 1911, our curve was 1911, so it should fit quite well. And I 
I move the circle, don't ever move the circle or the ellipse. So let's go text the path. And I think I had it the first time. I just didn't realize I was on, needed to be on the line. And we're good. You can maybe have to move one of these letters around with the shape tool. Very easily done. You know, just grab the shape tool and uh, move one of the letters over or move the, the period over, you know, actually to it. And it would look better if the periods were in the center. Now they had it where it started the bottom of family. It's a pretty neat saying, if, um, a happy family. I wouldn't use this text, but I, uh, it's pretty close to what they had. Go to object. We need to select it all. Go up to object and break the text apart. And then we can merely move this text over to the circle. Get rid of our circle. We don't need it anymore. And there's that drawing. Now, my font, the, the eyes are funny looking. Uh, but they're look, you know, they, the, the lettering in this isn't perfect. I mean, the R it's hard to tell it's even an R, you know, the IS. So I, maybe the customer is going to want a new font anyway. Um, but that's how I would do it. And, and be honest with you, the, the, the period not being in the center is not that big a deal. It's not going to warrant me making another video. So I'm going to just do it right here. All you have to do to do that, and because you don't, you can't really. Well, you can't without changing it to a text. And I think we can do it with a shape tool without changing it. So what we need to do is figure out how far we need to move it. And if we take that node, we can actually move it up to more like the center. And you'd want to do this probably with the nudge key, in. Uh, and then you could, act, and I don't even know if I, when I type this out, uh, because it was kind of weird typing that I have them all uh, exactly where you'd want them. Because I actually had to put spaces between each, each letter and a couple of spaces in between the dots. So that's how you would make that period, because I don't know of another dot that would put it in the center. The only other way, and then you couldn't text the path, it would be to, and break it apart and align them in the center, but then it wouldn't be a text to fit text to path. So I think that looks pretty good. And if you'll look, you know, we take a yellow box trick, turn it yellow, go up to object, order back a page. You can say he actually thought this would engrave good. It's, it's not going to engrave very well at all because it's so fuzzy and the letters are so little. So, Pick, a, pick your own font. You know, I, I love this family font. I'm not real. It's a, I think it's the same font around the deal, but I like that family. Mine's pretty close, except for the, I don't like the F. But anyway, pretty easy to make. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.